What's going on, people? Hope y'all doing fantastic. So I'm sitting here at the, uh, looking at the public load board. Uh, don't worry about which one it is because most of y'all won't pay for it anyway. So here is, uh, I'm going to show you some freight that's coming out of Florida. This is, uh, most of these are, pick these are picking up today. Today is Sunday. Uh, I might take this video down. Leave it up for a couple days and take it down. But uh, here are some here are some loads coming out of uh, Florida. Um, we got Orlando, Florida to Salt Lake City, Utah. Twenty three, little over twenty three hundred yeah. miles. Shut up. Paying uh, thirty seven fifty. Um, here I'll zoom out so you can see some of this stuff. Now this is the stuff that I like to see. You know, when I'm looking for information on YouTube or any other information, information products, I want to see numbers. I want to see facts. I don't want to hear theory. Um, uh, I mean, theory is good, but I want to see numbers and everything else, you know, when it comes to this stuff. And especially if I pay for a product, I want to see numbers. I want to see facts. I don't want to care. I don't care about how much you made. I don't care about how much you grossed. I want to see how you got to the numbers where you did. Um, and how I can do the same thing. So now I am showing you, you know, people say that, oh, well, there's a cheap freight coming out of Florida. You can't get good rates coming out of Florida, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Well, I don't run down Florida, so it really doesn't concern me, but this is actually for you guys. So, uh, you got Florida, Georgia, Georgia, Florida, Florida. Okay. Most of these are Florida and Georgia. Um, zoom over that way. You got uh, New York, okay, Northeast, 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 Minnesota, Northeast, 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 Northeast. Okay, just in this section right here, you're looking at all Northeast loads. So that's that's what they're paying. Um, now, I can tell you that you are probably not going to get those rates coming out. Um, now, this is for reefer, drive-in, reefer or drive-in. I have reefer in the settings. So let's look at uh van i already got the stuff set up so we're looking at uh uh let me see here tampa florida going to bedford pa that's between uh, uh pittsburgh and philadelphia uh you're looking at 2600 on 1054 miles it's probably more, a little bit more miles than that you know how brokers do let's click on it no comments um so that's over two dollars a mile uh, that's probably the same. Those are probably the same. They're just using different cities. Um, what else? Uh, these rates don't look as good as a uh, reefer, but you know how. Let me zoom down here to this other, which is a broader area. So um, now these numbers change all the time, like. Uh, this was posted nine minutes ago. That was been up for 15 hours. This is posted nine minutes ago. Um, so you can see. I'll zoom back up so you can see the numbers. There. Uh, let me see. It wasn't on this one. Uh, let me go back here. I want to show you this one load. See where it's at. See if I can find it. Uh, I don't know where it's at. I think it's gone now. But I won't mention it because you can't even see it. So you won't believe me. Yet. Oh, there it is. Let's zoom up here. You got uh, Falcon Transportation. Also, I think Roadrunner owns them. I think they're a division of Roadrunner, the same owner, something like that. So you have Arabia, Georgia going to Massachusetts, 1,200 some miles, paying 3,700. But the catch is it is a team load. Well, set up as a team load, one and one, one pick, one drop, Monday a.m. delivery, paying 3,700. I may or may not know somebody that will deliver this load the next day <laughs> after they get uh, picked up. 
but this isn't what this video is about. It was just showing you the rates coming out of Florida right now for the 18th. Uh, that is Sunday, and uh, all these are for the 18th. Um, so that's uh, a reefer. I'll click over here to flatbed to see so you can see what's coming out of uh, for flatbed. So we got uh, top one is Georgia going to Virginia. 1500 on uh, almost 700 miles. That's about a little over $2 a mile. Not the greatest, but no. Um, if you can find another load going back the other way or, uh, you know, Virginia going somewhere else for, you know, over $2 a mile, that's gross to the truck. Now, if you lease to a company, you know, you're not going to get paid all that. You're going to have to take your percentage out plus fuel plus all your expenses, and that will put you right around. Well, whatever your your numbers are, you need to know those. Um, so these aren't really close rates. Okay, here we go. We got uh, for you guys that like to run them long runs, Andrew, South Carolina to Livermore, California, Tennessee Steel Haulers, forty seven hundred. Uh, let's click on that one. Uh, no tarp, fifteen straps needed. So, I mean, if y'all want to do any of these things, get the number, give them a call. Like I probably take this video down. Um, we'll move it over to page. All right, and I am back. So, as I was saying, um, I don't remember what I was saying because the video shut off. But um, uh, here's the flatbed loads. Um, uh, they don't. I'm looking at the ones to give you prices. Uh, now these are the offer rates. Now, just because something is posted does not mean you can't get more money on it. But See, this is the stuff I like to see. You know, when, when people are putting out information, I want to see facts. I want to see numbers. I don't want to hear a buddy of mine said and this and that and everything else. Um, um, which is, that, that has its purpose. But, you know, I want to see numbers and facts. And, uh, you know, the, the information that, the way I look at information, I want to, um, I want to know how to get, arrive at if I see a scenario and you're doing well in that particular area I want to see how you get there I don't care how much money you grossed I don't care you know all the the details that don't matter I want to hear the details that do matter um, you know so my advice would be if you're leased to a company and you give they give you uh, permission to book your own loads, dispatch yourself, um, you can potentially increase your revenue if you look in the right spots. But the, the, the general trucking mentality is, well, I can get that stuff for free. And I, that's all I'm going to uh, focus on is, is the free stuff. I'm not spending any more money than what I have to. All right, this is all for this one. Hopefully you learned something. Maybe you saw something that you like. Some phone numbers on there. Uh, we'll see you on the next one.